if you've gone to any game site today or if you've been to any social network, you've likely, uh, if you've been following gamers, uh, seen people talking about Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes today. It just released. Reviews are all over the place uh, in terms of uh, liking it and disliking it. I'm Andrew Reiner, everyone, and uh, I have two people here who are going to talk in length about this. That's Joe Juba. Yeah, that's me. He's playing the game right now and marking some targets. And then Dan Reichert. Hi, guys. And Dan uh, is here because he went on the cover story trip uh, a couple months ago uh, to Japan uh, uh, to go see the game and and. He was one of the first people in the world to play through it. Yep, me and Tim Turry. We played it uh, a lot. We played through it numerous times. And uh, I guess it's been kind of a polarizing release in terms of uh, people's acceptance of its length. Uh, Dan, how long did it take you to complete it? My first time, uh, and th this is the same with Tim, it took us about an hour and a half the first time, and that's like super taking our time, you know, kind of learning the new game mechanics and everything. Once we knew what was going on, I went back in and I played it the second time, and it took me about 15 minutes. And Joe, what about you? Uh, that was that was more or less my experience also, actually. I uh, My mission timer was 87 minutes, I think, on, on my first run, but that equates to about two hours of playtime because, you know, like... I died a couple times and, you know, experimented. There are some cutscenes in the that bookend the whole thing, so I don't think those count in on that either. And this is, you know, it's it's a prologue. It's supposed to be a shorter chapter uh, building up to the big release. We don't know when it's coming, but uh, that would be Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Right. Uh, Kojima says it's going to be gargantuan, supposedly, uh, thus not having a release date yet. And when Dan, when you went out there, how far along? <laughs> what that just happened? That dude just got. Sorry, that dude just got hit by a truck. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that happen. <laughs> Me neither. That's awesome. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Glad we got that on tape. Is he like going on alert now or what? Because <laughs> he ran over it, dude. Uh, I think we've got an intruder. <laughs> Totally wasn't me. Uh, okay. Where were we? Okay. <laughs> well, it was really funny. When uh, you were we, uh, talking about uh, Phantom Pain, how, yeah, obviously we did the cover story on Phantom Pain as well. How far along do you think they are on that one? Uh, <laughs> some your of the, impression of some of the language they were using was kind of concerning as far as when that game is going to come out. Uh, they said stuff to us like, "Well, yeah, now we're kind of finishing up uh, Ground Zeroes and." You know, now that we're about to put this out, we can finally start working on building the Phantom Pain. It's like, whoa, whoa wait, what? Like, But obviously at the VGAs two years ago, they had what looked like a lot of footage from the, thing the game. Is they've got some awesome trailers out there that look super far along, to the point to where I was almost hoping to hear when we went out there that like Phantom Pain would be, would be coming out this holiday. But like I was talking to Ben Hansen, and he honestly didn't expect it until 2016. Uh, but he's also stupid, so I don't know. It's, uh, <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to be within the next year, year and a half. I'd say holiday 2015. Okay. Yeah, it, that it that seems about right. 2015 somewhere, I think would be would be a good guess. 2016 seems a little far out. Yeah. And as um, soon as Joe gets past this this tower, that's the end of the game, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not not quite that bad. <laughs> uh, so. This is supposed to be kind of the blueprint for that bigger Metal Gear experience. Right. Which it's kind of a look at what's coming. It's not like that demo they released for Metal Gear 2, The Tanker, the tanker where uh, that's going to be a part of the game. This is going to be like a separate thing, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's a comparable length, I'd say, and comparable amount of gameplay. It is a lot like the tank. Like, it, it is a lot like the tanker, even though it's sold separately in that it, like, it, in, it on a smaller scale, introduces you to the major concepts that are, that are at play. Which is why, I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll even see the Phantom Pain a little bit sooner because, like, I think this game demonstrates that they have their mechanics down pretty well. Like, yeah. the stealth and the actual controls in this are pretty polished. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, too. I really like oh, the look of it. It's as shiny as butt is. Yeah. <laughs> it looks fantastic. But, um, you know, I think, I think where you start to get into the, um, I don't know, the... the where the where the controversy comes in over the game, I think it's just like, oh no! Shoot, did I blow it already? Wait, wait. Well, no. see here, you're showing off the focus mode here. Yep, focus mode. Really cool. 
Oh, You're Joe. Screwed. So what I could have done there if I had been a little bit faster and better is that I could have um, gotten him <laughs> before he was able to alert everyone. Dan, quit laughing at that. Yeah. You, <laughs> you suck. So <laughs> you, you can just stuff it. Stuff it. Uh, he said stuff it. <laughs> Anyway, so what I was saying is like, like, part of the controversy is the fact that like this is a. It's not necessarily about the gameplay; it's about the fact that the gameplay is spread pretty thin along some minimal content, I think. And the big thing for people is the price. Then it's what thirty dollars. Yeah, which yeah. they were going to try to sell as forty dollars uh, physically, which is just ludicrous. Which you know, for me, I mean, like I I get why that's a problem. But for me, my problems with this game would be the same problems if it were free. Uh, that there's just not much to it. Yeah, that there's just not much to it. And wh whether you pay for it or not, like it's yeah. not. If, if this was released as a demo leading up to the release of the Phantom Pain, I would be super excited. I would. It would be a super effective demo. Yeah, but then would we even like? Would there even be a review for something that's just like a Probably demo? Probably not. Yeah. yeah. No. So, I mean, the fact that they release it as a, a as a full fledged game, sort yeah. of. Well, it is a prologue leading up to, you know, a separate chapter leading up to this next game, supposedly. Well, yeah. and, and I really like everything that's here, and I want. Even though I beat it at uh, Kojima Productions, I really want to keep playing it. But there's that's no the chance in hell I'm going to spend thirty dollars on this. So I'm just going to wait for a sale or something because yeah, this is not worth thirty dollars. And what, I mean, is this pretty much uh, indicative of the gameplay that's in this? You know, just kind of sneaking around, using yeah. your pistol. Yeah. Is there anything else that they throw in? Y you can do some pretty crazy stuff as far as, like, you know, there's a whole helipad there, and you can get into a, a truck or a tank, and you can drive it around. Um, there's different ways Let's you can try to sneak do that. in. Yeah, yeah, do, do some sneaky stuff and don't suck. All right, give me a sec. I want to try and put this guy down. And is it still... You know, Metal Gear's always had its own control scheme. I, are they sticking to that, or are they kind of going more in line with it's, FPS? And it's kind of more uh, modern than uh, you know. Metal Gear always had the equipment and weapon, like shoulder buttons, sliders, or whatever. Now it's a quick D-pad selection to go to your weapons, which I like a lot better. Explosive barrel. Oh no, Joe's being sneaky. So the first thing Joe's doing here is he has to go rescue Chico. Oh, oh. Ooh, look oh at that, that slide. was awesome. Yeah, he's a cool guy. <laughs> um, oh, nice. Wow. wow. Joe did a cool thing. Look at um, all those cool guys. <laughs> go kick him. Go up and hit the right trigger. I, I love doing this. Just, yeah. <laughs> Can you shake him for rations? Wait, that wakes him up. Kick him again. Kick him until he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> slit his throat. No, do a CQC. You can slit their throats. That's great. <laughs> oh, God, they're both going to wake up. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! Get out of there! Wait, hold on. Wait for it. Do something cool, Joe. Don't blow it. Oh, God! <laughs> Wake up. I'm going to murder you. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> Taking <laughs> Problem solved, everyone. All right. That was cool. So, this is... Uh, so, the structure of it is basically you go and you find Chico, and then you find Paz, and then... Who are they? Uh, th those are characters from Peace Walker. Okay. And um, then it's kind of done. So you were asking about like uh, like the, the sort of structure, like what else you do, and it's uh, like it doesn't have a bunch of boss fights or a bunch of set piece moments or anything like that. Like you pretty much do sneak from place to place, do those two objectives, and then <laughs> the credits roll. Um, Wake up, dummy! But like Dan said, you can sort of spice it up a little bit by hopping in vehicles and finding different weapons. Um, like the run that I did is pretty, is pretty much just like sticking to the edges of the camp so I could get here as soon as I could. No, but the whole can, thing is it's going to be more of an open world experience, right? Right. Although the Phantom right. Pain videos definitely showed kind of narrow corridors, you know, in the hospital at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think that's so. Maybe just, I'll have a blend of both. We'll yeah, see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's how Metal Gear Solid Three was, I think, where it's like a blend mm -hmm. of the sort of. Forest environments and the and the base environments. Like Grozny Rad and stuff. Yeah. 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 One of the other things I've been seeing a lot of people talk about uh, is his voice. Is solid. It's Solid Snake, right? Yeah. Well. Oh no no no. Na boss. Naked Naked Snake or Big Boss. It's Snake. Okay. But uh, his voice is no longer. Is it David Hayter? No. Yeah. It's Kiefer Sutherland now. Um, who many people would recognize as Jack Bauer from the show 24. And for me, anyway, I found that a little bit distracting. I have seen, and I, I think Well, you he's guys, trying to do Snake, right? Like, he's trying to be... No, 
Jack Bauer. Jack Bauer. He, he, he sounds like Jack Bauer. <laughs> and the thing is, and you guys I know have seen a bunch of 24 also, is yeah. like, like, when... If you're still just if you're talking about bombs and prisoners and terrorists well, and, and he all keeps that trying stuff, to call Chloe, yeah, <laughs> asking for a secure subnet in a socket. Uh, yeah, I mean it just, it's a little distracting because it does sound a lot like Jack Bauer. But I mean, I think Kiefer Sutherland does a good job with the with the performance with the voice. Yeah, he's awesome. So, okay, boss, change your plans. All right, let's I'll listen here. Over to the see if he talks. We'll get Posse's whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. I think no, we, he's not going to talk anymore. Yeah, sorry. I think we talked over it all. Joe, do a cool thing. Uh, go into the thing and show how you can play uh, Five of the Valkyries and just run around while listening to it. Did you know you can do that? Yeah. Do it. Show it. It's cool. Okay. Let's see. Is that in... Let's you go down to the tapes. Yep. And then... And then go right to the music. Uh, no, Wait, no. That's the, the helicopter. Music the music note. Music note. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And then go to Ride of the Valkyries. And now run around. Yes. You can play the whole game like this. This is a big selling point for Dan. <laughs> it's great! <laughs> and it's Daniel Bryan's theme song. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yes. Idiot. Careful, Jill. There's a guy up there. Yeah, we'll be okay. We'll just dump him there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> poor kid. It's so cool with his music. I'm stepping on him a little bit. <laughs> just throw him off the cliff to end this. <laughs> you totally should. Can you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, probably, actually. Throw those dummies, uh, their bodies off the cliff. The okay. ones that you put to sleep back there. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> Explaining the concept of falling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, okay. All right, let's grab one of these yeah. guys. Yeah. Yes. Wait, you got a guy coming after you. Nah, he'll be fine. Oh, yeah, because I murdered those other two. Oh, they just disappear then? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess they're by wolves, maybe? Oh, uh, look at this. This is going to be hilarious. Get out of here. How do you throw them? Uh, oh, Joe. I think, uh, uh, is it the trigger? Yeah, like R2. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Next. Yeah, that's great. Let's get all of them. No, get the guy. Throw him in the water. <laughs> Try to bounce them off a rock. You gotta end it with throwing Chico into the river. Okay. Or the okay. Ocean. Hold on. Hold on. So. Yeah, hit, hit the rock. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad we had a chance to do this, guys. <laughs> We're not gonna get a vehicle or anything, are we? You can just run up and. Yeah, we can. You, you gotta move quick. Oh, Joe. Use what? your focus. Oh, Joe. Jeez. Okay. Master of still. <laughs> You're telling me to go all guys off the cliff and stuff. <laughs> That's stealthy. Yeah. Splashes no are loud. Down there. Thunderstorm. All right. So. So you're running this kid who you just choked out. Yeah. To this, the beach. This is Chico, who he's a character from Peace Walker, along with Paz, who's the other one that we're going to try to get. Kick him. So, Kick him. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Shut up. So you can also put him to sleep. Oops, wrong one. Let's call the... So basically so when you... Do? Also in that camp, by the way, there were some POWs. You can extract them in the same... In sort of the same way. So we're calling a helicopter in, and that's how we sort of get Chico out. And okay. that is a potential tie-in with Phantom Pain. If you get some of those other prisoners and you evacuate them, uh, they hinted that that could possibly be tied into Phantom Pain. Like, you might have more guys at your base in Phantom Pain if you did Oh, okay, so it's this. not really mass effect -y, but your save might carry over yes, a little bit. Yeah. Joe, do you want to show that really dumb thing? Yeah, I'm going to try. Okay. So one of the things you do in this game is you collect uh, patches. Mm -hmm. Like, if you collect nine of the patches... You, that's how you unlock the console exclusive mission. Wait, Joe, stand up. Show where it is. You can actually see it. It's stuck in his bag. If you can move the camera, it's, uh, it's kind of. Oh, hard you know to what? See. It might not be there. Oh, because you already co got it. I've, I've collected them already, so oh. maybe they're not here anymore. Okay, yeah, it's on the same site file. Anyway, there's. We'll post a story about it. Yeah. Okay. It's cryptic. <laughs> it's well, no, it's, there's one. If you do that fast roll. Like, all the other patches are sort of hidden around the uh, hidden around the camp. 
there's one that is stuck in your clothes that you can only like you can only get out by just rolling along the ground. That's hilarious. Like 20 yeah. times in a row. <laughs> and it does a super dramatic cutscene when it flies out of your butt or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. All right. Cassette tapes. Those are from Peace Walker. Yeah. I recently played through the tutorial of Peace Walker, which is like 45 <laughs> minutes long. It really yeah. is. I mean, that is one thing to the credit of this game is like they do throw you right in. I mean, like when we started the test chamber, that is where it starts. That's, there that's was a cutscene that we skipped. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, like, that's where the gameplay starts. So you're not, you're given some, like, prompts here and there about how to, how to do stuff. But otherwise. And we're playing sort of on PlayStation 4, I should point out. Um, we haven't had a chance to take a look at Xbox One, PS3, or 360. Is it on PC as well? On your feet. Uh, I don't believe so. No. Okay. Yeah, we haven't checked out those yet. Chico was taken out of this cage. really does look amazing. Yeah, it's Fantastic. So now we can hop in a vehicle up here. Now you can hijack a vehicle or you can just hop in the back if you want to try to do a sneaky thing. I think you hijack and go for a ride. I like that idea. Super Drive high. off the cliff. Oh, okay. That's how we'll end it. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sure no one's going to mind. Must be near the yep. See yep. There we go. Okay. Easy control. <laughs> I'm standing right next to it. Joe! It's going to be like Austin Powers. <laughs> He's dead. There we go. <laughs> Remember when that guy got hit by a car early? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All here right. we go. Let's see, let's see what this happens. This is the end of test chamber, don't, everyone. Don't hit that exploding barrel. Whee! All right. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 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 see you next time. Snake, talk to me. Snake!